Recall from last unit that there is an inverse property. We know that f of f inverse x equals x and f inverse of f of x equals x. Now these same ideas transfer over into properties of inverse trig functions, but there are restrictions based on the domain and the range. So notice arc sine has a domain between negative one and one. So therefore, before I can take arc sine, I have to make sure that that angle or that value is between negative one and one. If that is true, then we know we, if we take sine of that arc sine, it will cancel. Remember, sine, that y value, must be between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2 to have an inverse. If that is true, then I can take arc sine of that sine, and those values will cancel out just to leave my input. Remember, arc cosine has a domain between negative 1 and 1. So I have to be able to have my x value in between those before I can take arc cosine. If that is the case and I take cosine, those two terms, those two inverses cancel each other out. Remember, cosine has to be an angle between 0 and pi if it's going to have an inverse. If it does fall between that, then my inverse functions will cancel each other out. Remember, for tangent or arctangent, the domain is between negative infinity and infinity. As long as that is true, I can find arctangent. But if I turn around and take tangent, those two functions should cancel out. And the same thing is true about tangent. Remember, tangent only has an inverse between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. If that is the case and I take arctangent of that value, they will cancel each other out. So let's see if these inverse properties work over here. So if I look at number 48, I'm taking tangent of arctangent, which makes me want to cancel it out. But first, Let's make sure 45 is in between negative infinity and infinity, which is property number 5. So since that is true, we know that we can take arctangent of that value. So these can cancel out now because they're inverses. And my answer is 45. So now if I look at number 50, I have to check, is negative 0.2 in the domain of arc sine? Well, the domain of arc sine is negative 1 to 1. And we know negative 0.2 is in between those two. This is um, property number 1 from the right. So once it does fall into the correct domain, and we take a function of its inverse, those cancel out and just leave the input value. So now I'm trying to take arc cosine of cosine. But first, I have to check and see, does this angle fall in the possible x values of cosine that will have an inverse? So 7 pi over 2 is not on the interval from 0 to pi. Therefore, inverse properties do not apply. So these are rules that you will get more used to the more that you practice with inverses.